Okay, welcome back. So now let's turn to page number 20 and page number 21. We're gonna look at pages 20 and 21 in this section. We're gonna learn a little bit more about God's story and how to better articulate God's story. And then in the next video, we're going to learn how to better articulate our story. And then in the last video, we're gonna learn about how to take God's story and our story, and that becomes our message. Now say the last video, that's the last video in this particular little section. So if you will, go ahead and turn with me to page number 20. We're gonna look at God's story. God's story begins with God, creation. I use that as the pointer finger because that's God creating. Uh, brokenness, that's my middle finger, that's the bad finger, which represents brokenness. And then Jesus represented by the ring finger because that's a relationship. And then we have uh, Holy Spirit, which is our thumb, which represents getting a grip on life. And then my guide finger for me playing guitar is pinky. So therefore I've assigned the church or ecclesia to that. So we have creation, brokenness or fall or sin, Jesus, Holy Spirit, church or ecclesia. So let's walk through that. On page number 21, you will see a list of questions um, about creation, about brokenness, about Jesus, about Holy Spirit, and about Ecclesia. I would encourage you to take some time to read through those questions and begin to really think this through. On pages 22 and 23, we uh, have these two pictures that I want to quickly walk through. When we talk about Jesus, we're talking about the story of his life, death, burial, and resurrection. Now, we only have one gospel, but these one, this one gospel has communicated to us in four different voices. The gospel according to Matthew, the gospel according to Mark, the gospel according to Luke, the gospel according to John. Um, and then we look at the commonalities between those four books and we say, what is the gospel? Well, we can boil it down to basically this. The gospel is the story of Jesus' life, death, burial, and resurrection and ascension as the fulfillment of God's story from creation. I hope that you're walking uh, through this material with a life coach because there is a lot here that we're not going to be able to put into the video tutorials, um, but there is a lot of information that you can spend time talking about with this topic. But I encourage you to go to pages 24, um, 25, 26, and on and we give, we've given you enough space to answer each of those questions and to write it out. Use your hand and actually write this out. The reason we're doing that is because we want you to slow down enough. And I've found that by writing things out, that slows me down enough to get my mind to really think through all of these details. I believe that many Christians don't ever share God's story or even their story simply because, not because they don't know it, they just haven't ever taken the time to slow down enough to write it out to actually think it through that's what we're going to be doing in these video tutorials so let's begin by looking at god's story with these one two three four five and let's answer those questions to the best of your ability slow down walk through this with a life coach um, or another person and let's just have fun with this respect the process but don't rush the process and when you're ready let's go to the next video so that we can learn how to articulate our story